Good morning. Oops. All right. Good morning, members. My name is Luz Molina Lopez, acting chair of the California Board of Accountancy's Legislative Committee. I'd like to call our meeting to order. Let's start by taking roll call. Uh, can we begin um, at this end with uh, Ms. Uh, Carol and <coughs> Farrell Hines? Good morning, Carrie Ann Farrell Hines. Michael Savoy. Luz Molina Lopez. Ariel Pay. Thank you. With that, we have a quorum. Okay, so our agenda this morning includes item one, which is approval of the minutes. Uh, the, these are the minutes from the November 21st, 2019 Legislative Committee meeting. As part of the motion, we would like to correct the start time that's listed on the, um, on the agenda item to read 9.55 a.m. and an end time to read 10.05 a.m. May I have a motion to adopt the minutes as amended? I move to approve with the uh, corrected start time. Thank you. May I have a second? Can I second? Second. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's take a vote. Abstain. Yes. 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 Thank you. Motion carries. Agenda item number two is an overview of the California legislative and regulatory process and the legislative committee's role. This is a written report only. Uh, do we have any need for discussion on this? Written report. Okay, moving on. Agenda item number three is an update, discussion, and possible action on legislation that the CBA has taken a position on. Uh, Mr. Bone, do you have any comments on this item? I do, Madam Chair. Thank you. Good morning, members. The legislature returned to session on Monday, January 6th. Between now and Friday, February 21, members of the legislature will be introducing their bills for the year and policy. Uh, and fiscal committees will be in full swing during March and April considering those bills. CBA staff are monitoring for new bills introduced and 2019 bills that are amended and we'll be bringing analyses of those bills to future CBA meetings for your discussion and consideration. The attachment to this item is the tracking chart for all the bills that were introduced in 2019 that the CBA took a position upon. Among those bills, only two have had any, have had any substantive movement since the mail out of the meeting materials, so I'd like to focus my comments there, Madam Chair. Of course, if there's other questions members have, I'd be happy to answer them. The first is item K, <clears throat> uh, Assembly Bill 535, which would allow a taxpayer beginning um, this year to claim a credit against their state income taxes for the costs paid or incurred to obtain a qualified initial professional license as defined. CBA has a watch position on this bill right now. The bill only applies to licenses granted by the Department of Real Estate, Board of Registered Nursing, Board of Behavioral Sciences, Contractor State License Board, and the Board of Psychology. The bill was heard and approved in the Assembly Revenue and Taxation Committee this week on January 13th. It has been referred to the Assembly Appropriations Committee for further action. That's my comments on this bill. Madam Chair, I'm happy to respond to any questions or continue to the next item. Any questions on this bill? No questions? We can move on. Thank you. The next is uh, item E, which is Assembly Bill 1525. I may have my item numbers mistaken, forgive me. But it's, the next bill is Assembly Bill 1525, which provides a safe harbor under state law for certain financial services providers and organizations, including CPAs and accounting firms that provide services to those licensed to engage in the commercial cannabis industry. The bill's author, Assemblymember Joan Sawyer Sr., attended the CBA's July meeting uh, and spoke on this bill. Subsequently, the CBA adopted a supportive amended position on the bill asking that all CBA licensees be included in the legislation, including public accountants and those practicing under our mobility laws. In recent weeks, staff have worked with the author's office to amend language into the bill that would lead us to a support position. The bill was approved this week by the Assembly Business and Professions Committee on Tuesday and is expected to include our requested amendments. Once we confirm that, the CBA's position will move to support and a new position letter will be provided to the legislature. This bill will be heard next in the Assembly Appropriations Committee. Uh, that concludes all my prepared remarks. Madam Chair, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you. Any questions? No questions? Okay. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Mr. Bone. Uh, agenda item number four are legislative items for a future meeting. 
Do you have any recommendations or any comments on this, Mr. Bone? Uh, no, Madam Chair. Any comments from our committee members? Or any comments from the public? Okay. Any comments in general from the public? Let's see, and then agenda item number six, agenda items for the next meeting. Do any members wish to request any items be placed on the next agenda for this committee? All right, seeing none, this meeting is adjourned.